I am deciding to do a quick coffee chat and I will explain everything after I get the coffee. So I'm just bringing y'all along with me. I don't know if I want a hot coffee or cold coffee. Last time I got an iced coffee here, it was not good. Good afternoon, may I take your order please? Um, I would like a medium caramel iced coffee with chocolate syrup. Uh, medium caramel iced coffee. Add the chocolate syrup. Yes, please. And that'll be all. Alright, that'll be 277 for that please. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. The last time I came, I got the caramel iced coffee and I didn't ask for the chocolate syrup because I felt like I didn't feel like trying to ask all that and then being confused about what I was talking about. So I just got it caramel and it was loaded with caramel, like it was gross. Okay, it's an old lady, so for some reason I don't feel as awkward doing this, like having the camera on. I mean, I kind of do, but not as bad as I would if it was like a young person that understood what I was doing. Now, when I go to the second window to get my coffee, I'm going to feel awkward because that will definitely be a young person and they're gonna be like, this town that I'm in right now, their McDonald's is really crappy compared to the other town that I typically go to. Yeah. I really hope it's good. Last time there was so much caramel in the bottom, you can literally see the thickness like in the very bottom of the cup from the caramel. It was like so intense. Thank you. You too. Here comes the awkwardness, I am scared. It's only for like two seconds, two seconds, you get it. Thank you. You too. <laughs> she was really young, so I've been really awkward. Okay, um, now I need somewhere to park. I was gonna park here. I guess I will. I hope nobody comes up beside me. That's probably what will happen. Someone will park beside me, and then I won't want to talk to the camera. But surely they won't just sit in their car. Y'all are so crooked. I hope that's like not too annoying though. But um, I have y'all so rigged up here. I wish y'all could see how I have the camera. Time to try this and for one it's not even to the rim and I've never whenever I ask for this in the other town and I ask for the iced caramel add chocolate syrup because every time I say I want a caramel mocha iced coffee from McDonald's they're like what? What? Like what do you mean? Like that doesn't exist. So I have to ask for it this way and I've never had it where it's like down at the bottom and like drizzled on the cup like I've never had it like that because normally it's like mixed in you can't even see the chocolate when I get it from the other McDonald's because it's like literally mixed together so I could see like all the chocolate floaties in here this doesn't even look like a medium to me I think they gave me a small well it says medium but when I go to the other town it's bigger I probably sound like such a complainer right now I don't know if my sickness is like not letting me taste this or what. I'm not sick anymore, but like I'm like coming down from it. And for some weird reason, it like barely has a taste, which I'd rather it barely have a taste than that intense crumble taste. Anyways, this is supposed to be like a coffee chat and I've already made this video so long, so maybe I can like um, make it not so long. I feel like some of y'all might be curious as to why I keep like coming and going from YouTube. Sometimes I'm like really good about posting videos and I'm like on top of it and not only posting videos but being active on YouTube as in like clicking on other people's videos and like commenting on it and just keeping up with other people's lives like my YouTube friends lives. I haven't really been doing that. I'm really bad about that. If I step back from YouTube as in not vlogging and not posting videos I kind of don't really watch other people's vlogs it just makes it feel guilty but then it's like once I get in the groove of um, vlogging again I actually start watching more people's vlogs but I really have been trying to catch up with like friends on YouTube I just don't always make time for it there's been a few people that I've been making time for and then other people I feel really bad I just like haven't been anyways on to the reason why I'm making this video I haven't been on YouTube because of multiple reasons we have had so many random things pop up it's just I can't tell y'all everything because it's too personal but we're going through something right now and it's nothing that's like a death in the family or anything that extreme but it's still 
something like not good that we're going through. Some things have been happening and one of the main things that happened is something that's like really affecting us and you know we're just trying to live our life and figure things out and deal with it and YouTube obviously wasn't anything <laughs> oh my gosh I need some coffee I guess YouTube wasn't anything that was important and it needed to go on the back burner as people say not only that big situation that happened but we have just had so many random things happen it's just like why like there's things that have been happening on my husband's side of the family like one incident in particular that I can't really discuss because it's just like it's a it's no it's just too much and then there is a situation on my side of the family and it's just like another situation that's like okay it's like too much and personal to discuss both of the situations on both of our sides of the family you know have kept our attention and like stressed us out I, I wish I could tell y'all more and y'all are probably like this video tells me nothing but like we've just been going through so many things like personal things that YouTube just couldn't be my number one priority you know I had to take a step back and just try to figure life out <laughs> so right now we're still going through the first like major thing that I was telling you all about not about our sides of the family that's something that like it affected us but it's not like changing our daily life you know like it's nothing that we have to figure things out for it's just something that we're gonna pray about about both of those situations and <clears throat> let God deal with those situations because they are quite literally out of our hands and we can't really change people only God can change them and they can change themselves if they choose to listen to God and it's up to them so the other situation we're still trying to deal with that the big situation and it just hasn't been the time to vlog and Unless my husband says it's okay to tell y'all what I'm even talking about, I'm not going to tell y'all. Oh, another big thing that is exciting but also, like, scary for me is that I am dressed up and I don't have the kids and my husband isn't in the car and that is because I am about to head to work. I'm going to, what time is it? It's 4.13. I technically have to be there at 5, but... I like to clock in early because, you know, more time. So, I'm working a part-time job that my sister actually helped me get because she's the manager. And I was so scared to do it because I have been a stay-at-home mom for years now. And I, for the longest time, I, if y'all watch some of my vlogs, like a few vlogs back, I almost said vlogs. I have vented about how it's hard to be a stay-at-home mom where I know there are like working moms that literally work like five to seven days a week and they're like be quiet I wish I could be at home with my kids all the time like I fully understand that like I understand but being a working mom like a working mom outside the home and then a stay-at-home mom they both have their own difficulties and challenges but I used to always kind of gripe not all the time, but I would kind of like bring it up every now and then how I'm like, man, I wish I could get like a part-time job just so I could get out of the house, get some adult interaction, and just have a little bit of extra cash just to be able to like get whatever. Like, you know, it's nice to have like a little bit of extra pocket money. And I never actually did it because we didn't have sitters and this, this, and this. There was just like, it didn't work out. But now I am doing a part-time job. I literally work two days a week. I was so scared it's not even a job that is like crazy hard like nobody would even label it as hard at first it seems hard because it's like all in your head like there's still some things that I'm like okay I don't know that but like I could still get the job done without knowing those certain things and I was scared like whenever I was training I was so nervous and I was like, I'm never going to be able to memorize all this stuff. Like, I don't know how I'm going to do it. And then the girl that was training me, she's like, it'll take you about a month where you don't feel like you want to cry or you do, or you actually want to come back. She said, like, after a month of doing the job, she could actually, you know, come into work, not 
have extreme anxiety about it or like freak out because that's what I did after that first night of training I went home I was talking to Samuel and I was like oh my gosh like this is too much stuff to memorize I don't know how I'm gonna do this like I'm scared and I only had one night of training how am I gonna do this and then thankfully my sister she um came in the next time I had to work which would be on a second night and I was supposed to be all by myself not have training she came in and she helped me she came in for just two hours and she kind of like helped me understand more things and just made me feel more comfortable helped me get used to the place and that helped a lot and then the next night which was my third night I worked by myself and I did it and I was like okay I can do this like I did it and so tonight is my fourth night and I'm sure once I get in there, I'll get nervous. Like right now, I feel completely fine. But once I get in there and like you see all the people and stuff, you start getting intimidated and nervous. And once it starts getting like really busy and it's fast paced, you're just like all over the place. I'm just glad I don't have to do the more difficult jobs that some of the other people that I work with have to do because I'm just like, I've heard so many stories from both of my sisters that y'all would be amazed by these stories oh my gosh my sister danielle from courtney danielle vlogs here on youtube y'all need to go to her channel and comment on a video and convince her to do a story time video of work i'm not gonna say exactly what her job is because i don't know if she talks about it on her vlogs like i honestly can't even think right off the top of my head if she tells y'all what her job is just comment on her vlog and just write the word story time so if danielle watches this vlog and she watches to this point um then she'll know what y'all are talking about but if she doesn't watch to this point i will know because she'll she'll message me and she'll screenshot she'll be like i wonder why everybody's saying story time and i have her channel linked in my description y'all should go just comment the word the words story time and get her to make a video because it would be so interesting and open up y'all's eyes to this type of thing that I'm talking about y'all like won't even believe people in general so anyways y'all are probably so lost and confused like what are you talking about I don't understand what in the world you're talking about like I wish you could just give us more details on all of this stuff because I haven't been and there's two people that are about to walk past the van okay I'm sure y'all realize that the angle is different but the camera literally shut off right when those people were walking by that I was telling y'all was about to walk by. My phone was actually getting too hot, I think, because when I pulled my phone down, it was literally, like, just so piping hot. I didn't even think about how the sun's coming down through the windshield, so I need to make this quick so it doesn't shut off again from it getting too hot. Anyways, I feel like I made this so long, and I still have one more thing to say. Another reason why I haven't been vlogging is because Ezra got sick, and he was sick for like a few days, but he, he didn't really act like he felt terrible. Like he still was begging for candy and sweets and wanting to play. And then Bexley came down with it and she was just feeling terrible, laying around, wanted me to cuddle her. And she just looked so miserable, so sad. And then I got it, but I had it for like four days of intense sickness. And then the fifth day was when I was, I was like trying to like, you know, recover and be fully better today's like day six or seven and nothing's really wrong with me I still have to kind of like TMI but I still have to blow my nose some but it's nothing like what what it was like it was just like oh my gosh so between my side of the family with their issues and then Samuel's side of the family with their issues and then this thing that has been happening to me and Samuel that's like a pretty big deal but like I said it's not like you know anything like tragic like like someone passing or anything but it still is a big deal to us and the sickness within this family I'm just like oh my goodness like <laughs> everything was just happening back to back but I was trying my hardest to you know keep my faith and trusting in God that everything's gonna be okay and I still feel that way but I'm not gonna deny the fact that I did get stressed out I've had plenty of moments where I was like getting stressed out whenever like something would happen it would it would kind of like set me off you know, I'd be good for a while, I'd be like, oh yeah, we're fine, it's gonna be okay. And then like something would happen and I'd be like, oh my gosh, like, but I'm fine now. Like everybody has their moments of stress. I mean, in our situation, if anybody else was in our situation, I think they would feel the same way we do and they would randomly get stressed out too. So 
yeah I know this video was like an explanation without it being an explanation and I'm really sorry but I'm not trying to put all of our business on here I just kind of wanted to give you an explanation as to where I've been and it's just as simple as we're going through something and that happens in life and we aren't always going to post that on social media so I will be back to posting videos I actually think that my next video isn't gonna be a vlog it's gonna be some sort of video like maybe a morning routine or a nighttime routine I'm leading towards the nighttime routine so y'all be on the lookout for that because I'm gonna try my best try to film that video I don't know when but it, I'm gonna try to make it really soon so anyways this has been literally the longest explanation video ever and I'm really sorry but thank you to those that were actually dedicated to watch this all the way through so anyways I guess I better quit chit chatting and get to work because it's 428 and I wanted to be clocked in by 430 but it's fine if I'm clocked in a few minutes after that time because I technically don't have to be clocked in until 5 so thank you so much to everybody that has watched this video all the way through and if you're new to this channel please hit subscribe and tap that bell so you're notified every time we have an upload thank you so much and see you next time bye guys